evening, and out of the blue came this beautiful, and I mean huge, huge black cloud that floated over the bay, Tampa Bay. And a bolt of lightning came out of this cloud that, and thunder and scared the s*** out of me, and I went, holy Christ, what was that? And just then, Benny's mother, she said, you ought to name the team the guy. And lightning turned around and I went, that's it, that's the name. Hey, I'm Chris from Aesthetics. Thanks for watching. For this video, I wanted to do something a little different. But before we get into it, don't forget to make use of those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to keep seeing new videos from me, it really does go a long way. Now, in case my surroundings didn't give it away, I'm a pretty big Lightning fan. I grew up near Tampa, which wasn't exactly a hockey hotbed when I was a kid. But now, many years and two Stanley Cups later, a lot has changed. Now let's get to why we're here. A few years ago, around the Lightning's 25th anniversary, I got the chance to interview the guy that brought hockey into my world. Two-time Stanley Cup champion, sixth on the NHL's all-time scoring list, Hall of Famer, and most importantly, the founder of the Tampa Bay Lightning, Phil Esposito. That's not something you pass up. So on a July afternoon in 2017, I spent 15 minutes on the phone with Phil. I always meant to write up an article for aesthetics, but time just got away from me, and honestly, reading Phil's words is nothing like hearing them. In this video, I want to finally share with you my interview with Phil Esposito. On December 6th, 1990, Tampa Bay Hockey was born when Phil was granted an expansion franchise. And the first thing you've got to do with a new team, name it. The name came about uh, quite, quite crazy, to tell you the truth. I was in Davis Island at a, a friend of mine named Benny Lazara at his house. We were there and we were at his, in his backyard, around his pool and all that. There was a, having a party for us. I guess it was about 4.35 in the evening, and out of the blue came this beautiful, and I mean huge, huge black cloud that floated over the bay, Tampa Bay, and a bolt of lightning came out of this cloud that and thunder and scared the s*** out of me, and I went, holy Christ, what was that? And just then, Benny's mother, she said, you ought to name the team the guy. And lightning turned around and I went, that's it, that's the name. Now, he'd been told that Tampa was the lightning capital of North America, but that wasn't the only reason he wanted that name. And I said, that's it, because I wanted a name, I kept telling everybody, I don't want an S on the end. Like every team, you know, the Rangers, the Bruins, the Panthers, everybody has the Blackhawks, everybody has the S. I didn't want that. I want it to be different. You gotta like that. The guy spent his entire career with original six teams. So he knew that tradition was a big deal in hockey. But Tampa didn't have a hockey tradition yet. He was starting it. I used to sit at my desk at the 501 East Kennedy Boulevard before we got the, the franchise. That's where our offices were. And my brother and Henry, Paul, and yeah. Mel Lowell and I said, draw up some ideas. And we all drew up ideas. Then we sat there and we, we established the name and then we decided how to go about with the logo. We hired a couple of people. They brought in different looking logos and this and that. And, and we settled on the logo with the silver and white and blue and a little black with, you know, with a lightning bolt through the whole logo. There's no question Espo wanted his new team to stand out, in obvious ways and subtle ones. I wanted underneath the arms to have those like little stripes. Little stripes, nobody else ever had it. And I wanted it so that when our guys scored, you put up your arms and you saw it. And I thought it would be a different thing and start a different tradition. Now, while the victory stripes are gone from the current primary uniforms, they did make a comeback with the team's reverse retro jersey. And then I wanted the lightning bolt on the pants. One of the main reasons why I wanted 
with that lightning bolt. When you're skating up the ice and you look up and you see black pants with just a white bar, every team seemed to have it. Yeah. But if you just look up quickly and you saw that bolt, you knew it was your teammate. Could be the difference of a pass going through or not. I love the idea that there was hockey strategy behind that design choice. It's such a unique thing by itself that if it actually helps a player make a decision on the ice, that's amazing. But it almost disappeared when the Lightning redesigned their uniforms in 2011. When they changed it, I said, please don't change the pants because that's unique. Nobody else has that. And it does, and I told Jeff Vinnick about what my theory was, that you look up and you see a little bolt in that quick second could be the difference of a guy getting a breakaway or not. For all the small ways those original Lightning uniforms were different, they were still pretty traditional. Until the third jersey came along in 1997. Now, when we came out with the third jersey, I had nothing to do with that. Nothing. It was the ugliest jersey I ever saw. I'll never forget when they showed it, I went, God, this is brutal. I don't even know who did it. So now we know how he really felt about it. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of have a soft spot for it, but I do know who designed it. If you watched my second NHL Prototypes video, you should recall the Mendick Group and Peter Thornburg, a copywriter who liked to moonlight as a designer. Peter designed that jersey. Sadly, he died in 2019, so I never did get the chance to interview him about it, but we did trade emails some years ago about his work. For decades, I've had a copy of an old Lightning magazine that included this rendering of the jersey. I noticed it had his name on it, and according to his website, his favorite number. Unfortunately, he and I never connected beyond that, but just knowing that he designed the jersey is pretty cool. But back to Phil to wrap things up, because that was not the only Lightning third jersey he didn't care for. I asked him about this one too, and his answer was pretty direct. If I wanted to call it the bolts, I would have called it the bolts. It's lightning. Not the Tampa Bay bolts. Tampa Bay lightning. Period. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my interview with Phil Esposito. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. That's all for now. See you next time. <laughs>